relationship, our history is there and the rest can't change it. Schools don't teach it, seek it, it's sacred. On the dime, mother and father is the basics. Rise like it's bolster to slip out the matrix. Still dumbstruck, thinking this is entertainment. Escape to reality, most likely. Yeah, I'll keep it raw. And it was a door that, uh, through which they would appeal to the ancestors to come through, the spirits of the dead to come through to the physical world. And, and see, the false door of Jetty, false door, they call it a false door, but it's actually a spirit door. Yeah, a spirit door. Um, the spirit door, with the door where they believed, uh, where the dead would believe to pass through the door, taking nourishment from the offerings, right? But it's also, it's a two-way exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, the ancestors can come through to receive the offerings, and this is an offering table. We got a similar scene uh, in our tomb. Uh, what, what time frame is this? This is fourth dynasty, so this is old kingdom. So our tomb is 25th dynasty. Mm -hmm. And so what they did in building our tomb was to go back and get the best of the art, the best of the text mm -hmm. from the old kingdom, and, and recreated it, updated it. So we've got the same scene of, of our guy sitting on the same type of chair, sitting in the same pose, but what he, what he, what he changed up in his, he put his dog sitting underneath his chair, which you don't see in any of the other ones. So yeah, it's not there, because that's a new king, that's, yeah. a, that's a late period okay. uh, addition to the Two, new king of concepts. <laughs> I just leave them alone. We <laughs> <laughs> just say if you don't have anything you good to say about the person, don't say, don't say nothing at all. I just keep on stepping. Yeah, that's what Yeah. No, that's not the old kingdom. See, see. This is this is what I went to the head. Now, the Shabaka stone is um, was commissioned by by Shabaka during the 25th dynasty. See, see, this whole area, Taharka, and, and Shabaka is all 25th dynasty. And what the 25th dynasty did was come in and restore the best of their ancestral knowledge. And they they stated. They stated uh, Shabaka and and um, Pianke's, no, yeah, Shabak and Pianke's grandfather uh, first led the charge to come back into Kemet. And his specific request, goal was to restore the land of the ancestors. So they were saying, this is where we're from. And they came in, at the Kemet had fallen on hard times, they came in with the knowledge of what all of these inscriptions and, and temples were really all about, which is why they were able to recreate these texts. So what you have with the Shabaka stone is when Shabaka came in, he then sent, oh, see, now this is the other thing. So this is the courtyard, first open courtyard in Karnak Temple, right? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah. And these were, there were 10 pillars built by Tahar at the entrance to the Hyperstall Hall. Only one of the pillars remained. And uh, I've read in some sources that these pillars, these 10 pillars built by Taharka were the largest pillars ever built in Kemet. Mm. But only one, one remains now. Only one remains, uh, and all of this was the story, so this was rebuilt. So, and the French have been responsible uh, for rebuilding, excavating, and restoring in Luxor, in Karnak Temple. They've been doing this for over 100 years. They got the private concession. And, and so I had to ask the question, why did they only rebuild this one? Do they have the capacity or the fragments to rebuild the other, but they only chose to rebuild one because they downplay, have historically been downplaying the Kushite uh, temples and monuments in Karnak Temple because nobody wanted to acknowledge the 25th dynasty. But you know, when we did a conference in 2012 in Luxor, Egypt, we had the, uh, the, the archaeological team from uh, Karnak come to present at the conference, and this one uh, French woman had, was a person who discovered the treasuries of Shabaka, right? And, and, and I mean, so in the north side, north side of Karnak is where you find the majority of the Kushite things. And when their team presented, they said that based on their research, the 
Kush sites, particularly Shabaka and Taharka, built more chapels and temples at Karnak Temple than any other king. And you'll never find that information in any publication because they haven't released their findings yet, but behind closed doors, this is what they're talking about. So folk are now beginning to look at the 21st Dynasty from an entirely different light. Where they thought or tried to portray them as usurpers, they were the ones responsible for jump-starting uh, Kemetic civilization one last time before she finally went in the tour. And as Dr. Clark always says, the 25th Dynasty represents uh, ancient Africa's last great walk in the sun. Because after the 25th Dynasty, after the 25th Dynasty, it was over. Kemet was never the same. Never the same. The Shabaka stone in the United States, when they, when they, the Tekken that's in um, Central Park, yeah. they had a whole Masonic ritual when they transported it from, uh, from the river and installed it. And, and in, in the publication that they made about that, they said that the Masons were able to uh, prove that their origins originated in Kemet because when they dismantled the Tekken that was in, it was taken from Luxor to Alexandria, and then it was given as a gift to the United States. And when they dismantled it, they found symbols in the base of it that were, they said, was evidence of um, the origins of Masonry. Yeah. So they say, they claim Ramesses as the master mason. Trace everything back to Ramesses. <laughs> yeah. There's my guy. There's my guy. And there's his fish. You ever been to Detroit? No. In Detroit, um, I think uh, Joe Lewis is from Detroit, right? Uh -huh. They got a statue of Joe Lewis's fist. It's about, it's, it's about twice that size. It's just hanging on a chain. And, uh, huh. Huh. that's probably the inspiration for that piece of work. I mean, I, I just... Because what we do, we do, when we do, when we do tours, we always make sure that we give something, we give it, a, a, a touch it as a fist. Mm -hmm. Okay. As a photographic picture. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. So it's your turn to this uh, today. No problem. No problem. <laughs> so I'll do it on your phone. Okay. And the beauty of it is, that's, that's the portion of the beer that Pierre Marquette. They have the copy is in Egypt. A mm -hmm. plaster Paris copy. This is the original, but the plaster Paris copy is in the Cairo Museum. And this is one of the pieces that they've been petitioning uh, the British government to return, but of course they, they deny their ability to return it because if they return all the items that they stole, then the museum would have to shut down. Mm -hmm. So they're real clear about this. But I remember Van Sertum was saying that they also had in the basement of the museum a portion of, um, of uh, the nose of the, the lips. Sphinx. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, this is the damage. Uh, the damage, the, most of the damage that was done to the statue was done during the three years that Napoleon was in Egypt. Mm -hmm. And so Napoleon also found the Rosetta Stone. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta process this. If Napoleon found, you know, disfigured the face of Harry Marquette, if his soldiers found the Rosetta Stone, then why are all of these artifacts in the British Museum now? The British hijacked the ships that Napoleon was sending back to France with these artifacts. That's why it's here. Yeah. Okay? So you got thieves stealing from thieves. <laughs> and they'll, they'll never acknowledge. If they can't afford to acknowledge the theft. And the beautiful thing about this, this is rose granite. Yeah. Rose Granite, uh, the, 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 um, last year we uh, excavated the, the tomb of um, the burial chamber of uh, the first tomb that we built, the first Kushite tomb built mm -hmm. in uh, Kimi, um of the brother Karabashka. And the tomb had already been robbed, but we found his uh, red Rose Granite sarcophagus, which was rose granite it was quarried from Aswan and was only used for royalty. Which now, even though we don't know a lot about the brother, we can now say the mere fact that he had a rose granite sarcophagus meant that he had to be a member of the royal family. Okay. And the other thing that I found, that, that I just began to become aware of, is that in Kemet, particularly in Karnak Temple and other, other temples, uh, the threshold at the entrances to certain rooms in the tombs always made out of rose granite. Right? So as I've been traveling around to different locations, I noticed in DC, they, they've done 
replicated a similar thing where the thresholds of certain buildings is always, always rose granite. I saw the very same thing here on the streets of London. Yeah. Only certain areas of rose granite. I don't know what it means, but um, yeah, you get, yeah, you get. It, it, yeah, it, that's something I need to look into. Uh, why the thresholds? Uh, when they were placed there? And what do they? What do they mean for the uh, the people in each location? Now they thought they made it Still rock chains and whips Still on a slave ship Our history is there And the rest can't change it Schools don't teach it Seek it, it's sacred On the die, mother and father Is the basics Rise like it's supposed to To slip out the matrix Still dumbstruck Thinking this is entertainment Escape to reality Most lives are wasted it's Enough don't feel the same That's why we're left grieving Our resources stolen For street codes we're bleeding I'd rather die for freedom Than live for bullshit If you feel the same Holler at me fam and let's link Many don't know the history, that's why their life's a mystery If it ain't revolution then it don't mean shit to me All you seem to care about is gold chains and whips We had that in abundance locked in them slave ships And before that we had the whole globe in our grip The belly of this song is the reason why we slipped I'm a warrior like Hannibal Resurrect through my seed, the outcome's fanatical Straight mathematical, sleepwalking Pure bullshit you're talking Teach the next gen, see for them it's important So they can break free from this degree of distraction Bang on the beast Never lose your passion And yo, niggas make a little pain Now they feel they made it Still rock chains and whips Still on a slave ship Our history is there And the rest can't change it Schools don't teach it Seek it, it's sacred On the die, mother and father Is the basics Rise like it's supposed to To slip out the matrix Still dumbstruck Thinking this is entertainment Escape to reality Most lives are wasted